Hello Cambium fans. Today I'm going to show you a really useful feature in CN Maestro, which is the ability to add Wi-Fi plans into sites on your CN Maestro accounts. When we design Wi-Fi networks for you, we use Echohow, which is the leading software for Wi-Fi design. We get plans from you and we import those into Echohow, and then we site access points appropriately and set their channels and so on to give you a pretty accurate coverage and reliable Wi-Fi network. In CN Maestro, you can use the same principles to add a plan to your site. So let's fire up CN Maestro and add a plan. Once you've logged in, you need to go to the appropriate site. So in this case, it's Habitech Demo. And then on the left-hand side, go to the Sites menu. From there, you'll see in our case, there's only one site, which is Habitech Demo. And when I click it, it comes up with the status of how the network is behaving. And on the top tabs row, we can see a tab called Floor Plan. Click that and then click add new floor to create a floor plan within CN Maestro. So first of all, we give it a name. So demo area network. Uh, we give it a, a environment type. I'm gonna leave that as office cubicle. And we put in an access point height. Now this is not exclusive to all access points. It's just one that's easy to remember. So in this case, we're gonna choose uh, 1.8 meters. And then finally, we choose a floor plan that we'd like to use, graphical file. So I click select file, and then our floor plan. Finally, to give it a sense of scale, we need to put in a width and height for the floor plan. And I can tell you that our demo area is 26 by 25 meters. Click add. And after a short while, it will come up with a message to say the plan was created correctly and successfully, and then it would load the graphic into the page. Now we need to add our access points. So I just click edit on the top right and then I click devices on this floor, unmapped devices to show me all the uh, Wi-Fi access points that haven't actually been associated with this plan yet. So let's start with the corridor. Click and drag the corridor to where the access point is going to go and then click again and I can choose the height of the access point. So in this case it's high up so we're going to put 2.4 meters how it's placed horizontally, and how it's firing downward. Next, we have the kitchen, which is also high up. So I'm gonna move that into the kitchen area. I'm gonna click that. The height again is 2.4 meters, horizontally placed and downward firing. Next, the projector room. So in the projector room, we have an access point which is facing into the uh, Wisdom Cinema. So I just click and edit that. So that is actually at 1.8 meters. And that is vertically placed. The Sonance James access point, which is in our main Sonance James area. So I click and drag that opposite the Samsung wall. And again, that's placed at 1.8 meters vertical plane and then finally our wisdom experience access point which is actually placed in the adjacent room so that's just here again we're going to edit it pop it at 1.8 meters and put that in the vertical plane once that's all done we click save and those floor plans have now been added to CN Maestro now that we're in the floor plan view we can see all of our access points and we can actually get more information. So for example, if I want to see how many clients are associated with whichever access points, I can change radio details to client count. And it tells me, for example, that the project room access point has five 2.4 uh, clients, uh, 19 five clients, and one six gig client. Alternatively, I might want to see what channel or what power the access point is running at. Simple as that and really useful. Thanks for watching.